Hey you guys, this is Kevin Potter and I'm going to show you how to use texture plates in your rolling mill. These are made of steel and I know you've probably heard it your whole life. Never put steel in your rolling mill. Well, that's sort of right. What they mean is don't try to form steel in your rolling mill. So the, this is just mild steel. So it has the, cons in the world of steel, mild steel is the consistency of cheese, okay? Maybe like a, a brick of sharp cheddar. The rolls on your rolling mill, they're heat treated and they're also case hardened. So this is a Cavalin, this thing's probably, I bought this, I don't know, 25 years ago. A file will not scratch it. So if you take your file and file on these, it won't cut them. They're really, really hard. It'll just skate across them. So this mild steel is not going to hurt it. So what this is, this is our hammered texture pattern plate. And it, if you look at it, you're seeing the back of the hammer blow, not the front of the hammer blow. So when I roll this, it'll look like the correct form. It looks like little bubbles right now. Most rolling mills only open up about six millimeters. Um, so we made these plates thin so that they'll fit. So you put your plate in there, bring it all the way down once it's in there. So you get an idea of where you're at. Back it off about enough, maybe half a turn so you can open it up. Then you're going to bring it all the way around. Again, another, like what, a quarter of a turn probably. And then your metal plate will start to curve as well. They're going to bend and it's not a big deal. This one's just straight lines. I'm not pressing very hard this time. That's looking pretty good though. So you've got nice line pattern. Then we have I call it the silk pattern. I really like it. You can see the plates are getting a little bit of a bend to them. Uh, that's going to happen when you're rolling. It's nothing to worry about. They'll be fine. You can also use these in a hydraulic press, but you're not going to be able to press this entire piece. Even if it, w it will fit in the press, but you're not going to get enough pressure. You can also use a uh, a urethane mallet where you just hammer this and it will hammer it'll impress this pattern into the plate so that's another way of using them if you don't have a rolling mill and if you don't have a, uh, a hydraulic press thanks for watching don't forget to give the thumbs up subscribe to our channel and look for more videos